Hello, hello. Welcome back to my videos. My name is Ani, and we're going to do yoga again today. If you don't know me already, I am trying my best to post two times a week, whether it's workout videos or yoga videos. So like, follow, subscribe, all that shebang. Today, we are doing a yoga flow that I personally do every day. So this is what I do to warm up, what I do to get my body going, you know, stretched out everything. You're welcome to use blocks, straps, anything that makes you feel comfortable. I don't use that person right now though. If there are any ideas, suggestions, things that you guys want to see, if you guys need more help with flexibility, with anything at all, just let me know right in the comments and share this with someone who you think might benefit from a little workout. It's gonna be really quick. And today I don't have my coffee. So I was trying to do a new coffee every single video. Today I finished my coffee early. I forgot to add it into the video. It's actually over there. It's a homemade coffee brew that I made with, what is it called? With an AeroPress. So I made a homemade AeroPress. I don't know what brand it is, it's something different. Next time I will bring a can. This is our tradition in the yoga videos now. So if you have coffee, if you have something you can drink alongside you, tea, anything, bring it with you and let's get energized and going. So I think how I want to start today is starting on our knees in child's pose. So knees apart and then you walk your hands up to the top of the mat, your heels are just under your hips here. You can lower down onto your forehead. Taking some deep, deep breath. And because this is a fast flow, we're gonna move on, walking one hand over the other to the right. And lowering down. Taking a deep, full breath here. And exhale, let it go. Inhale to center. And exhale to the left side. One deep breath here on your own. Noticing how your lungs expand, your diaphragm expands. And exhale and release it out through your mouth, releasing air from your chest and your stomach inhale back to center and from here just place your elbows on the floor pick up your hands in prayer and lower down your forehead onto the mat hands back down on the floor push yourself up i like to flip my wrist for cat cows you're welcome to keep them like this or keep them normal I like to have my fingers pointing towards my knees. It's a bigger forearm stretch. Inhale, drop your belly, gaze up. This is cow. Exhale, curl your back for cat. When we push the palms into the floor, like imagine there's a big ball between your stomach and the floor here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Let's take two more on our own really connecting the breath with the movement beautiful from here i like to lower down my hips so i get a deeper forearm stretch maybe shift my weight back and forth Maybe in a circle. Don't go too hard. You don't want to disturb any muscles. And then heal your muscle back to help for months. That definitely sucks. From here, I'm going to flip my palms so that the palms are facing up and the tops of my hands are on the floor. This one for me is really intense. So just be careful if you don't know or you don't practice wrist stretches too often, just do it very carefully. And then place your hands back on the floor. From here, let's keep our hands, our fingers spread out nice and wide. Curl your toes underneath, push your hips up, 
So you're keeping your spine straight, hips up, and then you slowly start pedaling out your feet a little bit at a time. Once you pedal out your feet enough and it feels comfortable, let's practice the perfect down dog. So really pushing the palms into the mat, thumbs pointing towards each other, pointer finger towards the top of the mat, shoulder blades together, gaze up towards your belly button if you feel comfortable with that, if you feel like it's a good challenge, tailbone up towards the sky. From here, grab left hand, right knee or ankle, twist underneath. Two deep breaths. And now back up. Exhale, right hand, left knee or ankle. Pull in, gaze under your armpit. Inhale, back up. And I'm gonna do some spinal waves. Inhale. Lift your heels, curl on your spine until you come up to a high plank, and then you drop your chest, bending your knees, head goes forward, hips up, heels down, curl your spine, high plank, lower your hips, bend your knees, push your hips back, gaze up. So it's kind of this really, really curvy spine, a wave, and you're slowly focusing on releasing tension in your entire spine. Try not to stay put in any position. This continuous flow, continuous movement. Slow down and let's stay in down dog here. Walk your hands up towards your toes. Inhale, halfway lift, hands on your knees or your feet. And exhale, fold forward, bend through your knees and just let your chest row down onto your thighs. Elbows together. Grab your elbows. I like to do some side Sushes, I would say. Clasp your hands behind your back. Pull your hands up towards the sky. Extend your legs. Fall forward even more. Shift your weight forward. Rock your head yes and no. Hands are away from your lower back as much as possible. And what you're initially doing is try to relax your lower back. Your spine and your hips all the way down to your neck, your head. Release the barn, inhale, gaze forward, exhale, walk your hands to the top of the mat. From here, walk your feet up to your hands, big toes together, slight wedge between the heels, bend your knees slightly until you root your eyes all the way up to standing. Inhale, arms up, flip your palms up, little back bend. Come back to center. Let's do some side bends. So to the right. Inhale. Exhale to the left. Inhale. Cactus. Open your chest. And swan dive forward. Uttanasana. Inhale. Halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana. Straight back. That's all you want. Exhale. Hands on the mat. High plank. Low plank. Inhale. Up dog. Come to the tops of the toes. Let's do some hip dips to start. Curl your toes under, push your hips up. Down dog. Right away, inhale, right leg goes up towards the sky. Exhale, foot between your hands. Inhale, crescent. This is a large stance. Your knee is right over your ankle. My son A's have a little bit of a variation just so I feel like it can move a little bit more. Inhale. Elongate your slide, 
exhale, open up your arms to the right side. Inhale, back to center, hands up. Exhale, forward, down. So you're placing your hands on the floor and extend that right leg. Round up the right leg to fold forward, staying as straight as possible. It's okay if you round, maybe even place your feet closer together. We're just getting started. And then slowly slide your foot back into a chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left leg goes up. And exhale, foot between your hands. Inhale, arms up, press it. Exhale, lower down a little bit more. Open up that right hip. Inhale, elongate your spine, reach a little higher. And exhale, open up to the left side, open arm twist. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Extend your front leg into pyramid. And place your feet a little closer together, smaller stance, and fold forward. Deep inhale. And as you exhale, slide your foot back into a three-legged chaturanga, if you like. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. <laughs> Let's lower down onto our knees. Because of the fast flow, I have things to do later. I have to do this quick. But you're welcome to do that first flow three times, five times, however you'd like. But for now, we're gonna extend our right arm in front, left leg behind. So it helps me if I curl my back toes. That helps me with my balance a lot. Make sure you're really stacking your limbs. Reach back, grab your opposite foot, opposite hand, and push your foot into your hand, open up your chest. Lift a little higher, and exhale, lower down. Change sides, extend right leg, left arm. Find your balance, curl your toes if you need underneath. And then reach back, opposite hand, opposite foot. Foot pushes into the hand. As you open up your chest. Lift a little higher up, extend your leg as much as you can. And then lower down. Curl your toes underneath, gaze forward. And exhale, hop to the top of the mat. Make sure your big toes are together. It's like wedge between the heels. Bend your knees, push your hips back, reach your arms up. We're in chair pose. Exhale, place your hands together. Twist over to the right side. Poke your elbow over the knee for a prayer twist. Gaze up if you can find the balance. Exhale, look down. Keep the bind of the knee and the elbow. So lift your right knee up with a marcher's pose bind. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, to the left side. Hook your elbow over the knee. Push your elbow into the knee as you're opening up your chest towards the ceiling. Exhale, look down. Inhale, keep the bind of the knee and the elbow. Lift up, marcher's pose. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, half chair. Hands go behind your back. Lift your chest forward and slowly lift your heels up if you can. If you need a challenge, we're gonna do dancers. So you extend your legs completely, but your heels are still off the ground. Keep the balance. Engage your core. And exhale, drop your heels, fold forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, shut it all the high plank, low plank. And from here, bend your right knee. Inhale, up dog. Try to push your foot towards your head. Keep the leg lifted, extend down dog. So in a three legged dog. Exhale. Place the foot over to the top of the mat into Skandasana. 
So your hips are hovering off the ground. Left foot is flexed, hands in prayer. And then place your left hand back at the top of the mat. Reach your right hand up, dragonfly twist. Inhale, drop the back knee. Wrap that right hand behind your back. Left arm overhead. Roll, reverse warrior. Inhale, cartwheel your arms up and over. So you lower down into warrior two. That lift, left knee pops up off the ground. Flip your palms up. I like to pick up my front heel and reach back. Inhale, back into warrior two and lower down. Tilted side angle. Exhale, hearing back on the floor. High plank into your chaturanga. And your up dog. From here, you're bending the left knee now. Opening up your chest. Exhale, crawl toe under. And push your left leg up. Three-legged dog. Exhale. From here, you're going to do that big stance. Left foot to the top of the mat, pivoting your back heel onto the floor, flexing the right foot, placing your hands in prayer in front of your chest, skandhasana, engaging your legs so you're not dumping into your flexibility, but really lifting your hips up. Exhale, right hand on the floor, pop the back heel up off the ground, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, drop the back knee, left arm behind your back, right arm towards the back here. Revolve, reverse warrior. Inhale, cartwheel up your arms up and over. Warrior two. Flip your palms up, pick up your front heel, reach back. Exhale, drop the heel. Elbow on the knee, reach your right hand overhead, side angle. Exhale, both hands on the floor, extend, slide your foot fast. You can do a three-legged chaturanga if you'd like. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Whew. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, hop to the top of the mat into a big malasana squat position. Placing your hands in front of your chest, elbows into the knees. Instead of dumping your flexibility down, opening your hips as much as you can, you lift your hips a little higher up and really try to open those hip sockets as much as you can. So you're opening up your chest, pushing your knees away. And then slowly place your hands on the floor, hips up, heel tall, your feet together. Uttanasana. From here, let's take a big step back with the left foot. And heel tall your foot over to the left side and lower down the right knee into pigeon. Find the perfect angle. The goal is to place the foot as high up the mat as possible. Open your chest. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. If you can, on your hands, elbows, forehead. Open up your chest. You can stay here longer if you'd like. So I reach my right hand, left foot, wrap the bind. If you want, you can pull in. If you have a deeper practice, a more advanced practice, you can grab the big toe, flip your elbow up, and then pull that foot in. And lower it down. We're gonna circle over to the opposite side. Pigeon on the left leg, heel toeing 
the foot a little higher up if you can, and then placing your hips parallel to the mat, almost like headlights. You want both hips facing forward as much as possible. Inhale, open up your chest, prepare, and exhale, slowly lower down into your hands, your elbows, and your forehead. Inhale, slowly walk your hands up towards your knee. Reach back, opposite hand, opposite foot. If you grab a bind, that's wonderful. You can always pull your foot in a little bit more. Open up that top of the leg. Maybe you can grab the big toe and pull yourself all the way in so that your elbow is pointing up towards the sky and doing a deep back bend in pigeons. And when you're ready, lowering down, circling your legs in front, we just take a quick butterfly, straightening up your spine, soles of the feet together, and then slowly folding forward. You can round your back for this one pulling yourself in, trapping your head. And this one is no bind necessarily. So you're just letting your upper body fall forward. You're not pulling yourself in as much as you can. You're just relaxing here from the crown of your head down to your sacrum, to the pit of your spine. And then when you're ready, slowly lowering down, vertebrae by vertebrae, onto your back. Extending your feet out into the corners of the mats. Shimmy your shoulders underneath, palms facing up. That was a very quick flow, but that's basically the gist of what I do. Returning back to the breath. The breath that was keeping our flows in sync and rhythm, starting with our cat cow. Letting the air pass through our entire body. Allowing our body, our limbs, our hands, our feet to weigh heavy on the ground so heavy that we start melting down through the mat. Notice the air coming out of your nose, maybe passing the top of your upper lip. You're welcome to stay here and pause the video. Other than that, we're gonna continue on and close the practice. Wiggling your fingers and your toes, rocking your head side to side, waking up your body once again. Reaching your arms overhead, a nice big stretch. Knees towards your chest. Tuck your nose in. And then rock side to side on your lower back, giving your back a little massage. And then eventually lowering down onto one side of your choice. You can use your arm as a pillow. This is Fiori's Pillars, and it reminds us that there's always a new beginning to an end, a rebirth, a chance to start 
again a chance to practice again endings are really just beginning slowly walk yourself up to the top to a seated position spine nice and straight to on your practice shoulders down away from your ears thank you so much for practicing with me today it was beautiful to take this quick moment just to breathe and come back to the present moment almost make the rest of the world feel like it's on pause if you like the video wait for the next one i'm going to continue posting and continue flowing so without further ado thank you for practicing with me today namaste